hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're doing great this morning evening noon night whatever time it is when you're watching this now we've already started as usual we start with our eyebrows so what you saw me doing was just outlining where the eyebrow will join itself and now I'm, i just filled it in with a black pencil and then i went in with an eyebrow mascara from brimmel and then now i'm just going to do the highlighting of the brow or basically um, definition of the brow what i'm going to do is that i'm going to apply the illegal pro conceal concealer in the shade fawn all around my eyebrow and then after that that what i what you're seeing on my hand is more of the illegal concealer and i'm just going to apply it all over my eyelid uh, to act as an eyeshadow base now i have completely missed the looks that we used to see back in 20 15 2016 like the crazy crazy cut creases and that is what i am doing of late because i absolutely miss that era when you could just go crazy with your makeup and nobody will you know question you um and nowadays we are more of a natural look definitely but in case you need some makeup inspiration for some crazy makeup you're in the right place so um what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go in with this purple eyeshadow first and as you can see i don't know what to call that area of the eye i'd say it's the crease of the eye but just above the crease of the eye and all the way from the center of the eyelid to the inner corner of the eyelid is where i'm applying that purple shade and i'm just going to make sure that i blend it in thoroughly and make sure that there are no ugly lines or harsh lines and then afterwards i'm going to blend it out outwards where the brush is using an orange color because i'm just going to use the colors that i'm going to use in this entire look so i'm just going to use a little bit of orange it's kind of a light orange normal orange shade and then in the inner side of that i'm just going to apply a darker color which is like a dark almost black color that's in the inner side on the outer side i've applied the orange in the inner side i'm applying a dark one you could only start with a dark shade but i think it's better if you just apply it on top if you're not so used to blending dark colors like me um i avoid blacks they, they sometimes just become awful when you're blending them so i've just cleared the area to make room for the cut crease and you guys know that i love this nyx concealer it's a full coverage concealer i don't know how to even call it it's a super full coverage concealer that concealer will cover up all your problems literally if it's the, if there are problems on the face so that's what i'm just going to use on the i think it's called the nyx photogenic concealer i believe and that's the shade golden if i'm not wrong so i'm just going to apply it all over my eye um the area where i want the cut, cut crease to to be located i first outlined the cut crease and then i filled it in and then now we are going to apply more of that purple eyeshadow just to create a wing like an eyeliner sort of but using the purple eyeshadow because i just want the colors that will be in this look to be about two colors only so i'm just applying them all over <coughs> the wing area and i just cleaned it up properly and made sure that it's a wing wing and then now i just took like an angled brush and i'm just now applying the orange all along that wing next to it so that it can look like a two colored wing if you understand my point and then now i'm going to highlight that area using concealer clean and highlight using a concealer the same same nyx concealer so i'm just going to apply it so that i can create a nice clean straight wing and then after that now we're just going to fill in now this is the meat on the bone we're going to fill in that cut crease that we created with this orange shade and i'm just going to apply it all over the eyelid and make sure that it's nice and clean don't extend it and ruin the cut crease just make sure that it's nice and clean you can use any color that you want that you feel comfortable with i just feel like i haven't done orange in a really really long time if you follow me on this channel you know what i'm talking about i have not done orange in the longest time possible so we're just gonna dab 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 that in so take your sweet time when you're doing the cut crease area because you want a nice clean look and then afterwards because i just feel like 
I have to create more of that purple because I put on the purple I put a little bit of orange so on the orange I'm going to put a little bit of the purple just to create the outline further so that we can have like nice angles and colors you know so just with the same angled brush a small angled brush I'm just going to apply the, the purple and then I took a little bit of brown and just used it as a transition shade between the purple and the orange down there just on the lid only not up there up there I left it like that and then I'm just going to take a black liner and I'm going to apply it on my waterline and that's the Maybelline Colossal Kajal Argan, Argan Oil it's black and then I went in with brown just below my eyelid just below my waterline I went in with a dark brown shade then I just put on my lashes and you can see how gorgeous that turned out to be now it's time to prep our skin and I'm just going to go in with foundation that's not foundation I'm so sorry we're just going to go in with primer and I'm using the Maybelline the, that's not Maybelline that's the Makeup Revolution Pore Blur and Prime Primer which I absolutely love if there's a, an affordable blurring primer it has to be that it will blur all your problems away <laughs> okay if your face has problems so anyway um we are now going to go in with concealer and we're going to just apply it on the dark spots that are on my face or any areas scars whatever that i feel are too dark so i have just dabbed them in with a brush and then I'm, i've gone in again with a beauty blender now this eyeshadow was really neon so it was affecting the camera in ways that are not good it was confusing the camera that i was using and then now we are going to go in with concealer and i'm just going to use the rimmel kind and free concealer that's the shade tan and i'm just going to dab it in with a brush fast a brush fast that's what i normally do and then afterwards i use a beauty blender just to make sure that everything is nice and clean and then after using the beauty blender we have a nice clean canvas to proceed with and then now we're just i'm just going to dab a little bit of the blush that i bought off the boohoo website and it's a very very sheer blush but i normally use it as a blush piece i don't use it as the actual blush i use it as a blush base that i'll use to apply more powder blush and then now we are going to do our lips as usual our pencil is almost over it's become so tiny our black pencil D just ignore how disgusting that mirror looks <laughs> it has like makeup stains <laughs> i don't know whether it's the eyeliner kindly forgive me for that if you're easily disgusted i'm so sorry um so i've just used the black pencil and then i've gone in with this maybelline super stay lipstick and then afterwards we are also going to just blend blend thoroughly and i think i'll just leave the lipstick like that i'm not going to add any shimmer on top because the, the eyes are so matte so i've just added a little bit of blush and then highlighter and you know i love that highlighter again from nyx beautiful highlighter but isn't this look gorgeous i love it Maybe too much for nowadays, but it's absolutely...